Hello everyone and welcome to Selden and Survival. We're here back at Dalton Farm and we've done a little bit of work since the last time we saw this place and today we are going to build the weapons vendor, probably the last store at the end of the street that we're going to need for this. So before we start we're going to review the stuff that we've done. Here's our doctor. Uh, we're going to change him out because he's a uh, he's a Far Harbor settler which means he has no extended dialogue. As soon as you talk to him he drops straight, to, straight into uh, buy drugs mode. Uh, someone had told me that that was a bug, and it still is, still is here. So I went back to the Commonwealth and grabbed the settler, and so we could have a real doctor. Um, let's go ahead and hit our hit our thing here. Clear the weather up. Yeah, I stuck the switch on a tree because why not? And here's our settler. I basically put her on a guard station for the time being because that keeps her out of my way. But the the biggest change here is we I built the wall here. I finished up the wall over that gap, you know where where it was well there was a gap. So it's, you know, structurally kind of rickety, but it does the job. And it looks over the attack, the attack vector because they do come from down this hill. So they've got a nice little choke point here to go through. There's no real turrets watching over it or nothing, but it's enough for the sellers to take cover behind, and that's pretty much all they need. And then behind here, I just basically shored up the wall to hide the gaps underneath the player house. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk over here. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I uh, gave them a, a, re a radiation arch with the, my standard, you know, this thing. <laughs> the wood walls and the, the grating over the top, sunken in the ground, whatever, it works. So that they don't, worry, they don't have to worry about the fog eating their brains, I guess. They can just, you know, wash off the rads anytime they like. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna build a shop right here. We're gonna put a door on the side there so there's access to the main settlement from the end of the street, so to speak. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna wall the whole thing off or not. So we're going to get started and I'm going to take out, you know, my group select tools and I'm going to put a junk fence uh, doorway there on the left and I'm going to use that scaffolding ladder, uh, which it turns out is a pretty, it's a really good group selecting uh, instrument because it's got a very wide range that it grabs things and it's angled so you don't have to be right next to the thing. And since it's tall, you can put things on the second floor without having to, you know, do the, you know, put the foundation down or float a garden plot or whatever. If you just want to put something up on a roof or something, this stuff works great. But you can see here how much softer it makes this junk fence. Because normally this particular, these doorways, they don't like to touch anything. But with that scaffolding ladder, it actually works pretty good. So that was, uh, that's a trick I picked up from watching School Zone video. That's one of the three things I've learned. And here we're going to put the foundation down next to that thing and I'm going to use my group select snapping thing to line it up and get it where I want it because as you saw the concrete foundation would not go into this ground by itself but if you snap it at something it does. That's one thing about barn and warehouse pieces and then for our weapon shop I'm going to uh, borrow, quote borrow, steal, um, incorporate uh, a usage I saw in Phoenix's last uh, installment in the local four pack challenge where she basically took the doorway and put a, uh, a half fence in front of it and stuck a vendor in there. And that's a really cool little shop window. So thank you, Denise. I'm going to go ahead and put my interpretation of it here. As I try and line up this thing with that, um, with that uh, junk fence doorway, this, you're gonna see a lot of fumbling here because I could not get that roof piece to snap because it, it doesn't like to play nice with that doorway. And it took me a couple of tries to get rid of the gap on the side, yet still put a wall up there. So anywho, while this is going on, um, in other news, I, uh, this is, the video is a little bit later than normal because I had a real life incident this week. Uh, my water heater decided to give up the ghost. <laughs> so uh, yeah, taking showers 1850 style for a couple of days was not, uh, I mean, it was a character building experience, let's just say it was, uh, but it was not, uh, I like, hot, I like having hot water. I'm sorry. I just, it, I need that part. So got that fixed. Um, turns out I thought the thermostat blew, but it was, it was not the thermostat. It was the wiring harness had melted. So thank goodness I tripped the breaker because if I hadn't, it would have, uh, might've burned my house down. And that would have been, uh, that would have really delayed the videos, wouldn't it? <laughs> there would have been a really long delay in videos on that one. And, uh, so that's what's going on here and that's what's going on why this one is a little bit behind also what i've been doing lately is working like mad on my contest entry for again the school zone challenge which is uh, the deadline's like june 1st 
I guess, to upload the video. And I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to post it private and send him a link, or if I'm supposed to just post it public and then just send him a link so he can, you know, watch it with everybody else. I'm probably just gonna post it public. So keep an eye out around Memorial Day. It, it should be done. Um, as part of this challenge, I wanted to give myself a challenge. So I decided what I was gonna do is I was gonna build as fast as I possibly could. I mean, I'm literally just throwing buildings up, throwing structures up without any, without any like, I guess I do think about it, but it's more instinctive than planned, you know? Still doing the same, the same methods I use, which is, you know, find an anchor, put up a building, come back, look at it, build something else, look at that, come back, look at that. And, but I'm just, I'm astonished at how fast this particular build is growing. I mean, it's, it's literally taking on a life of its own. It's kind of, if I think about it too much, it's kind of disturbing because it's like I'm channeling a builder of some kind that's not me. And it's, it's kind of like, I don't know. So it's, uh, it, it's pretty fun. It's a lot of fun. And I, I, it's hard to resist going back to it because it, it, I am enjoying it so much. So I'm looking forward to showing y'all that one. I'm not looking forward to decorating without OCD though. That one, I'm actually having to plan how I'm gonna do that. Because of no CD, right? You just dump everything in the workbench and you go to the menus and find it and stick it in there. And it's all nicely sorted into categories and whatever. But I don't, I won't have those categories. So what I'm doing is I'm literally pre-sorting my junk. Um, at first, I was just doing the stuff that I really wanted to keep, that I knew I wanted to decorate with. The rarer stuff or the cooler stuff and, you know, um, I'm going to be putting a lot of Easter eggs in here for people that I have watched, enjoyed, whatever. If I can, if I can, I'm going to try and do that. But yeah, pre-sorting junk is, um, it's weird. <laughs> That's a little bit, um, you know, overthinking the problem. But I don't want to be down there, you know, in the middle of the end of May and I have to go decorate. I'm like, oh my God, I got to spend hours and hours doing this. So basically what I do after every run is I come back, look at my junk, drop the stuff I know I want to keep, store everything else, and then put the other stuff in separate containers. So um, that's coming along pretty good. And my character there is now uh, 55 because I found out that I wanted to use some stuff from Nuka World. You know, there was a bunch of stuff there I wanted to use for the build and I wanted to use some stuff from Vault 88. And of course I had, you have to do those, you have to do those missions. And oh my God, I, you cannot do Nuka World in a hurry. It's just not, I don't think it's possible because every single park takes so long. And oh, I hate Kitty Kingdom. I'm, oh my God. Just, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have like four drinks and I'm gonna get a bunch of Mysterious Serum and I'm just gonna blast through this thing. Doing it that way was actually kind of entertaining, but not, not fun at all. Just not fun. I do, but it's done. I got all the parks unlocked and now, you know, when I want to get XP, I just go back and harvest, uh, I harvest um, raiders, kill them in their sleep with Sandman. So here I'm looking and I'm like, okay, I got a doorway, but I'm like, oh, wait a minute. No, I can't use that doorway because that doorway is gonna be uh, the shop window. So now I need a doorway on the back. But the doorway doesn't fit. What's blocking it? Aha, that thing's blocking it. Again, this piece, that little little piece at the top is so wide and so, ugh. So I had to work around this problem. But this, you know, I gotta say, solving problems like this, that's the fun part of building for me, I think, is finding a way to make something work. So how do I make this work? I've got the, I got the, the tools and I have the pieces and I have, you know, different glitches and, and workarounds and stuff like a try. Yeah, that dude's not gonna go in there. So now I've got these two, I'm gonna scrap them. I'm like, okay, what am I gonna patch this hole with? What have I got? Ah, let's do a fence. What the hell, it'll cover the hole. And I will say, building in vanilla, there are some things I miss desperately. Chain link fences, chain link, I, I, my God, I love chain link fences. <laughs> they are so handy for everything. Like here, chain link fence, man, perfect. Just drop a thing on the floor, snap a post to it, you're done. But here now I gotta struggle with this whole thing and I can't figure out why it won't go. So anyhow, um, the, uh, the building is going along a pace. And then after this, I'm local four pack challenge again is in week eight. And I got to tell you guys, if you haven't watched this stuff yet, you really get to check it out. At least the most current week of nothing else. There are some amazing things here. I, I just, some of the builders, the way they do certain things, I, there's no way I could possibly do it. And I know how difficult some of this stuff is to do so I can appreciate it, you know, a lot more. Like uh, JPEG, he, uh, he is a wizard at making things look like they're under construction. I, I don't know, it, it's just every time I look at him, I'm like, oh, that's perfect, it's perfect, it's perfect. And then Nacho, of course, Nacho's a maniac with the wiring. <laughs> this wiring closet. I look at these things and I'm like, look, I built a mar an animated marquee and it took me three hours. I'm looking at his stuff going, yeah, I could probably work on this the rest of my life and never be able to do this. 
So there's that, and of course, uh, just some just some other names. I'll have to think Person, IDK, and iStella, and Chalksire. I mean, they, you, you got to see this. It's amazing how interesting and different these builds are when we're all building with the same stuff at the same place. It's just like, man, believe me, I've been taking screenshots and notes, and a lot of this stuff is going to show up in other builds. I'm going to find a way to make it work for me because sometimes their stuff is they do it their way and it looks great, but it's not, you know, it's kind of like how I would do it. So I have to, anyway, go check out the local four pack challenge, please. Oh my goodness. We're getting there. We're getting down near the end. Things are getting bigger. It's week eight. There's only three more weeks to go. And then there's the final tour. And that's going to be, that's going to be interesting to see how many people get crash out their games. Cause some of these builds are huge, man. I'm like, Ooh, that's oh, that's not going to be good. You're not going to be able to, uh, that's not supportable. So anyhow, What's going on there and then I guess the next installment on my series will be we'll be going back to Coastal Cottage with the uh, for the uh, mega build and I got thinking about the mega build and I think I think I know what to do with the slog uh, if I get around to it I'm getting kind of burnt out on the mega build I gotta tell you I gotta be honest um, mostly because there's so much of it everywhere that the game is really uh, chuggy really you know erratic and i'm not quite sure if i've got sufficient motivation to keep going with it so we'll see i mean i've, I've, I've said that before after starlight and i got burnt out on it but who knows i might be back and the other things i got what is the moribund world the new moribund world character i haven't touched them in a long time um and uh, i am getting closer to obtaining the necessary uh, uh hardware to finally take a real shot at streaming. I'm going to be, um, I got my eye on a system and I think I'm going to be able to get it. Um, we are going to see the next, you know, it, it's always about a finance thing, but I, I'm really hell bent on doing this because I, I really like to try it. And uh, yeah, that's, I guess that's really all about there is to do on this. So yeah, Latha, you hide the conduits like you always do and give them a, a little light above the window there to show them what's going on. It's starting to get a little bit dark here, but actually, you know what? As we get to the end of this build, Dawn Farm was not too bad. Um, having a scrap all mod helps a lot. I don't know if it would be as much fun as it has been without that because the ability to get rid of, you know, the shrubs and the rocks and all the crap in the way. Huge thing here, but yeah, there's a little, that's a nice little shop, right? Yeah, it looks good. Look at the approach, make sure it's, uh, make sure it looks good from the street. And uh, let's go ahead and give this guy some guy. Is it a guy? Yeah, because I, I took the doctor and I made him the weapons guy because uh, the other settler on the guard post is going to be the doctor. So she'll have a full menu. I might just go back to this, the Commonwealth and get a whole bunch of just settlers and bring them out here just so they'll work right. But on the other side of the coin, I don't think I'll ever be back to Dalton Bar. Man, I don't like this place. I don't like Bar Harbor. It's not, uh, it's not my cup of tea. What's really strange about working here in this place is that um, the sound effects, you know, the sound of the waves and the pier and the docks, that's the, the, that's the soundtrack for Libertalia. That's the, the environmental sounds for Libertalia. So I always think about Libertalia when I'm in here because I love Libertalia. I may have mentioned that once or twice before. I don't know, perhaps. So, yeah, we're going to do a little furnishing here, try and get this thing set up and, uh, and uh, characterize a little bit. And then after this... I guess what I'll do is I'll be going into uh, critical mass building mode and just finishing it up. And then a couple weeks from now, uh, life willing and time permitting, we will see how this goes. But uh, yeah, we'll do a tour here. And it, but it's, it's looking pretty good. It's looking like a, a full featured settlement because it's got, you know, sort of the, the field surrounded and we got the vendors and, you know, I got to build the, uh, the party deck for the bar, but that's really about all. And then maybe wall, run a wall from this shop up the hill to the player house to enclose the entire thing. Still debating on that, not quite sure if I'm gonna do it, but we will see how that goes. I'm, you know, like I said, right now, I've just got, I've totally got the build I'm doing for the for the contest on the brain because I'm having, I'm having so much, I haven't had as much fun building it, I don't even know how long. Because, you know, I mean, this is gonna sound strange, but it's different building when I know that I'm not you know, recording it. I'm not going to be broadcasting it or, you know, whatever until it's done, right? So I have you know, like, you know, more freedom, I guess, less pressure because I mean, I try not to think about it, but it's still, 
still in the back of my head, mostly not so much, oh my God, you're, you know, you're fumbling around like an idiot, what are you doing, blah, 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 but more of the, okay, the sun's going down, I'm running out of time kind of thing. And I think that's kind of why I tried to do the, the fast building in the, uh, the contest, because it's like, that's a nice challenge. How fast can you build? How, what will it look like if you build faster than slower? Hell, I might have, I was thinking about, uh, thinking about maybe doing a challenge of my own. I, I don't really know, but there's a couple of ideas I had the other day about a challenge, because I mean, I wouldn't want to do something like Locodiv that's like, you know, 12 weeks. That's, that's a long time, man. That's a lot of maintenance. Uh, props to him for going through all that effort, because I know it's got to take a lot of time, man. But, uh, but you know me, I'm in you know, short attention span, no patience. I like to, you know, if I'm building for more than 40 minutes, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, I can't do this. So if I do do a challenge, it will be, it will, it will definitely have a time factor to it. And it'll, it'll definitely be a one shot. But uh, we will see, we will see. That's, like I said, that's really, really theoretical because I've got so many other things I want to do. Because um, I mean, really, I got what? Like I said, I got multiple series going. The local four pack challenge is going to be over in about a month, so that will free up some time. That doesn't take a lot of time anymore, but I have to remember to do it. And then, you know, we got settlements and survival because after Dalton Farm, I went and looked around at my other settlements in the Commonwealth, and uh, I think I might try and do another build at Overland. I only, I've only done one, I think, for the mega build. And no, I did one a long, long time ago where I made this gigantic house, this monolithic barn thing, which is so rich and dumb. I mean, bleh. So yeah, I'm going to do the tour here. I'm going to start to do the tour, and I'm, I go underneath here, and I see that these stupid things are not lined up because that thing's round on the bottom. So we go to fix these, stick it in there, and then this one won't sink because of the dumb sand. So fiddle with it a little bit, try and get it down there. Nope, I'm not going to go, dude. Heck with it. Slide this over. It's in the middle. That looks that's good enough. All right, so now let's do the tour. So here's our weapon vendor shop. We got the, uh, the door there blocking off the back walls. It's very well lit in the front. He's got himself a weapons workbench on the side, so he, somebody hands him a weapon through the window, he can just work on it and give it back to him or whatever. That little, that little screen on the bottom looks pretty neat. It looks kind of weird, you know, but if he's sleeping and he likes the sound of the waves, he can look out and see it, right? But here's his working area. Of course, that, that's going to be filled with stuff once I decorate. Weapons and equipment and materials and stuff like that. He's got a little break area where he can just sit and have a cigarette while he's waiting for customers. His bedroom, so to speak. Probably change that roof later. And that's pretty much it. We go around the back, go up the hill, take a look at this. And that's it, folks. We're reaching the end here. And we're going to stop. And I want to thank you all very much for subscribing and watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.